Hi, my name is Rich Harrington for Creative Cow, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop and After Effects together as color grading tools. Let's take a look. I've got a video file here, and it's just a shot of a bird, a pink flamingo, that I want to leave the pink and sort of change the other colors in the scene. It's pretty simple. Let's just go ahead and drag that onto Photoshop Extended. And we'll open up that video layer. Now when you do this, I recommend you go ahead and switch to the motion workspace in Photoshop so you get a timeline. It's a little easier to see things. So if you just click the window menu, you could switch to motion. Window, workspace, motion. Notice here we've got a little clip. If we take a look at our actual timeline here, we can drag through. And we have movement. We also have the ability to use layers, and you'll see the little film strip icon on the layer there indicating that that's a video layer. Now we're going to leave this as a video layer, but start to add some adjustment layers to modify the image a bit. Here's how. Let's go ahead pretty simply, and I'm going to start by adding a black and white adjustment layer. And what this allows me to do is take this on image tool here and start to modify. So we click the On Image tool and click on the image, and it knows which slider to grab. So notice I could selectively go after the individual elements there to create a different sort of black and white adjustment. That works well. What I want to do now is change the blend mode to get some new results. So if we select that layer and choose the Move tool, you'll see that we have our modes here. Keyboard shortcut of Shift Plus will let you step through the modes and you can see there that different modes are going to bring different parts of the element out. So there's the lighten mode and we're getting the pink and the greens coming through, but the other colors are coming out. And as we step through, you see we can really start to get some selective grading. What I like to do here as I play with this, let's go with the lighten mode there. If I open that back up and take the on image tool, I can go ahead and click and start to drag and bring elements in more or less. So notice there, by using the yellow and the green sliders, I can remove those elements and dragging the red sliders, I could bring that in a lot more. So the cool thing here with the black and white adjustment mode is when you change its mode, you can actually change how the sliders perform. In this case, values that go above zero are going to subtract or lighten and values that go below zero are going to intensify. So notice I could pull the pink out or really bring it in and even make it pop more. I can minimize the use of yellows and greens and blues in that scene and I now have a spot color effect. You might be thinking it's Photoshop, it's just that frame. No, it's all frames. You see we could drag through there and really selectively go after just the colors that we want. I can also enhance this really quickly with things like vignettes or a curves adjustment. So let's just toss on a curves adjustment there. Same thing, the on image tool. I could really make that part of the area pop a little bit and then lift up these shadows a little. That works well. Toss on a solid here. We'll do a gradient fill layer and we'll change that to radial. Reverse it, adjust its scale and even drag to position the vignette where we want it. Works really well. Change that to multiply and we'll just knock down the opacity a bit to give us the vignette that we want on our subject. So everything's great. We've done all sorts of color grading. All we have to do is save this as a Photoshop file. So if I go ahead and choose save and we'll just call this Flamingo and store it in the same layer as the original video layer. This way the media management's a bit easier. There we go. Switch on over to After Effects and we'll just double click, 
navigate out to our files, grab the PSD, and tell it to come in as footage. There we go. I'll merge this into the footage itself, tell it to come in as footage, not a composition. There it is. Drag it into a new comp and watch. As we drag through, that is live footage. So if at any point in time you're more comfortable doing color grading in Photoshop or you want to take advantage of other effects, I find this to actually be much faster. The cool thing is, is that these adjustment layers in Photoshop are very, very snappy and adjust a little bit more quickly than their After Effects counterparts in my experience. And now that this has just come in as a flattened Photoshop file, you see that all that color grading and very complex effects are loading very quickly with minimal processing time because Photoshop's actually done a lot of the work on its end already. And if you needed to, you wanted to jump back, piece of cake. Command E for Edit Original, you're back in Photoshop. You can go ahead and start to tweak a little bit. Maybe we wanted to use the gradient map. And I can go ahead and start to apply that. We'll grab a nice pastel gradient. There we go. We can easily modify that by pulling stops off. We'll just get a nice pastel here. And of course, like everything else, that is an adjustment layer, so you could change its mode. I like that, it's just adding a little bit of a pop in the pinks, darkening them down. Close, save, switch back to After Effects, and you will see that it updates in real time. So a really cool interplay here between Photoshop and video layers and After Effects in Photoshop seamlessly jump back and forth between the two and use Photoshop as a color grading tool for your footage layers. For Creative Cow, my name's Rich Harrington.